Hey Fruit Faces, it is Clara Bear here and I need to talk with you guys today. Some of you may have noticed yesterday that I posted a short little video about this little crescent roll. Um, actually, it was a pretzel roll with cheese inside and I thought the cheese was vegan and it wasn't. So I had, you know, a few questions about this, like why would they even do something like that? Like, is this this big conspiracy or what's going on? And also, how many other products are out there? You know, this is definitely not the first time since I've been vegan that I have made mistakes and, you know, I just want to help other people to avoid making the same mistakes. I mean, it's easy. You get in the habits, you don't read every single label you should, <laughs> but you know, sometimes you just think certain things are safe. And I've made at least a handful of mistakes in my two years. And here at two years, I'm still making mistakes. It's kind of embarrassing and it sucks. And I should have read the, all the labels, but you know, what can you do? So I'm here to share with you guys so that you can avoid making the same mistakes. And it is, there are a lot of different things that you would think are vegan that are not. A lot of people know, you know, the basics. There's, you know, you got to check your protein bars and your cereals. You got to check your cereal bars. Bread is a big one. Bread's not always vegan. Granola sometimes can have butter in it or honey. But there's some lesser known things. It took me a while to find out beer and wine. So I'm going to go through some of these in a little bit more depth. I'm not saying I have all the answers. So as usual, please correct me in the comments below if you see anything that's wrong with my research or if you have anything at all to add, because I think this is a really relevant topic that we need to be discussing. So how did I end up with a non-dairy cheese that, and it was a um, almond cheese that I just assumed was vegan. It was in the, the it was in the vegan cheese section, and uh, it's a non-dairy cheese, but it still is not vegan. And this is actually relatively common, especially with soy and rice cheeses. In fact, Go Veggie, one of the biggest brands, is not completely vegan. I've heard that the, all the ones in the purple are completely vegan. But as with everything else in this video, you just really have to look at the labels. The cheese that I got was Lisa Natty, Lisa Natty Almond, and that is, again, it has some casein in it. And casein is considered non-dairy by the FDA, amazingly enough. They've supposedly changed it so much that they consider it non-dairy, which is just ridiculous. And also, they can consider it non-dairy if it's got 0.5% or less dairy products by weight. So it may not even be casein that you're looking at, but anything non-dairy, you definitely want to read the label. Now, if you see something that is dairy-free, realize that while most of those things are, are usually completely dairy-free, it's still not regulated by the FDA. They're under no obligation. It's still not regulated by the FDA. They're under no obligation not to lie or anything. They can basically just say it's dairy-free. So why do they do this? People who are lactose intolerant may not need a completely, you know, vegan cheese. People who are just looking for lower fat cheese, you know, that's their excuse. And that's why you know, even my health food store is still stocking this stuff right next to the rest of the vegan cheese. So Galaxy Rice Cheese, again, that was something that if you look up one of these things that contains casein, but it's changed and I believe Go Veggie has bought them out. I don't know how long ago that happened. So if you see Galaxy Cheese, realize that it is, as well as some of the Go Veggie cheeses, not vegan. Okay, different brands of rice and soy and almond cheeses have these and I don't have a uh, com conclusive list here. I do know Panos has, that's a brand that does a tofu rella that is not vegan as well. And it's not just about cheese though. You also need to look at any sort of coconut milk powder a lot of those have actual milk in them as well non-dairy yogurts and I was surprised to find that Trader Joe's is on this list sadly enough uh, Trader Joe's soy there's another brand called Osoy Stonyfield Farms 
obviously their soy yogurt non-dairy is actually have casein or other um, dairy products in there also whipped cream non-dairy whipped cream you got to be careful some um, there's one called rich whip and um, and others out there that do contain dairy lots and lots of non-dairy creamers a lot of these things you want to steer clear of for uh, all the other you know ingredients that you can't pronounce like coffee mate I'm just gonna go over some different names for casein right now that you might find in non-dairy products you need to be careful of anything with the name even remotely similar to lactase lactose or casein they do paracasein ammonium casein rennet caseinate um, zinc caseinate casein hydrous hydrolysate uh, just plain casein uh, magnesium caseinate let's see calcium caseinate potassium caseinate sodium caseinate it's all caseinate it's all casein um, there's a nicene preparation that is actually a word for something that's not vegan I forget exactly again you want to be careful and you want to look up I always look up barnivore website or there's an app that um, you can also get that'll make things easier although I don't always trust the apps and I don't know why but um, the in in sing glass uh, is usually made out of non-vegan ingredients and beer and wine um, Guinness I believe is changing over to vegan but they're not vegan probably yet the ones that are on the store trident white trident different gums and even toothpaste can have recal dent is in a lot of gum and um, dental products. Delactose, lactobumin, lactobumin phosphate, um, lactose, galactose, all of these things have casein or something or lactose in them. Um, lactic yeast, even if it's not spelled like the regular lactic, um, if it's got a Y in it, you know, lactulose. Of course, ghee and gelatin. You wanna be careful because they do put gelatin in things you wouldn't necessarily think of. And also, be careful if you're buying paint and glue. I know I've been guilty of that. I think there are glues out there that you can buy for your kids. And um, as well as like beeswax and different um, crayons and, um, lip balms cosmetics lotions are non-vegan paint glue fabrics even fabrics plastics you want to be careful about candies again they can have uh, gelatin or if you see a resinous glaze shellac or pure food glaze are also things to look out for they are made from the lac insect which Ugh, just disgusting red uh, number 40 actually pretty much any any um, coloring really you want to try to steer clear of but definitely red coloring uh, is made from beetle butts and also caramel coloring and flavor are also not necessarily vegan so again look for that vegan and also just to be safe I know a lot of products haven't started doing this, but you really want to read the ingredients and see if they're vegan because I've seen and heard of vegan products labeling themselves as vegan and then having ingredients. Now some say may contain, and that's a cross-contamination issue that a lot of vegans don't really worry about, including myself, but if you're allergic, obviously, then there's that issue. But all of these products, you know, any product with casein in it, you know, T. Colin Campbell has showed us that this basically causes cancer. It's one of the most carcinogenic substances that we consume, and they cause digestive problems. It's really hard to digest. It can cause a lot of mucus and even respiratory problems, and of course, a lot of issues for people who are allergic. So, for your whey as well, that's pretty well known. That's, oh, L-cysteine, as a C y-s-t-e-i-n-e -E. that's made of bird feathers and it can be found in breads as well so look for that ingredient or just look for a vegan bread different cosmetics um, lip balms even lotions and things like that can all um, not only contain different ingredients that are not vegan but a lot of times they're also testing on animals which you don't want either and baby wipes or something I had to switch my baby wipes out you might want to try to look for a hundred percent vegan because 
as with whole wheat and as with a lot of other obviously we're seeing this with um casein and dairy you know they can say certain things and get away with it even though it's still got it in there so oh and i saw this with a gmo product from Trader Joe's as well. I don't really trust Trader Joe's at all. They don't have very good um, non-GMO and organic type of certification processes. And the thing was the product that we were looking at, my family had asked me to kind of look into this. It said it was organic, it said it was non-GMO. And then when she did it with her phone, she had a, a scanner for her phone it still came up to have conflicts. And we, I finally found that the reason why this was is because, you know, they're saying that the corn, you know, is, or, you know, it you actually have to say 100% organic. So be careful for that as well. Obviously imitation seafood, you gotta look out for. Um, any kind of natural flavor is a toss up. Natural flavor, like I said, caramel color, high protein flour, um, nature lose or lactoferrin tagatose who eats this stuff anyway we shouldn't be artificial butter you may think that's vegan not necessarily chocolates margarine nicene um, or nicen not sure how to say that nougat can all contain dairy Worcestershire sauce is has fish sauce in it some of the Applebee's and different um, rices that you may order actually can contain fish sauce, Worcestershire sauce, milk. I've had rice at Indian restaurants that they add milk to it, um, or some of them will cook it in chicken stock. So always ask about your rice and your veggies when you're eating out. Your beans, you want to be careful, even if you're ordering just a regular order of black beans. Sometimes they add milk or lard, or like I said, they may cook it with chicken juices and things like that. When you go out to eat, just tell people you're allergic. and. Tortillas can have lard and butter in them. It's just a, it's crazy. Also, vaccines are absolutely not vegan. They can have um, aborted fetal cells in them, monkey cells, egg, lots of different things. And you would also think that if you're ordering a veggie burger or if you're just picking up a veggie burger, or like for in, in my case, going to my mom's house and she offers me a veggie burger, that that's going to be vegan. No. It's absolutely not. Some of the most popular and unhealthy veggie burgers and different vegetarian meats are not vegan. They have milk, they have eggs, and some of the top of this list is Morningstar Farms. I haven't seen a Morningstar Farm product that is vegan. The um, corn brand, which I used to love, they make chicken, they make fake meat. Those are not vegan. Again, they contain milk and eggs. I know the burgers, the veggie burgers from Buffalo Wild Wings, Hungry Jack, McDonald's, and Burger King are all not vegan. And Boca is questionable because when I looked at their ingredients, the Boca burgers, it says non-meat on the natural and artificial flavoring, but it doesn't say non-meat on the caramel coloring, so that really makes me wonder. Plus, they're really just made of non-healthy ingredients anyways. McDonald's french fries, at least in the US, they are not vegan. They contain beef extract or something disgusting like that. Back to the, the non-dairy creamers, there is Glenview Farms, not vegan. Borden Cremora from Eagle Foods is not vegan. International Delight from Morningstar Farms is also not vegan. And a couple of more things vitamins and supplements you always want to make sure that those are vegan um, some of them can contain egg or gelatin or worse um, oh you also want to be careful there's an orange juice i forget what it is off the top of my head very common orange juices especially those with vitamin d basically anything with vitamin d added can, that vitamin D can come from fish sauce. So you wanna make sure your, your vitamin D supplements, any, um, any multivitamin, you wanna make sure those are all vegan as well. And the last thing that I can think of is anything made from sugar is really hard to tell and you probably just want to get the app. Although, like I said, I don't know if the vegan app even um, considers sugar vegan or not, but it can be made with bone char um, so definitely look into that and 
it's it's hard you want to do the best you can with what you have and you definitely don't want to be eating casein and natural beef flavoring and stuff like that but when it comes to shoes you can usually find really good vegan options paint you know like i said there's vegan stuff out there but if you do make mistakes if you do buy something that has vegan in it don't beat yourself up you know you're still vegan if, if you make a mistake that is included in the definition at all possible that's the definition of vegan it's included our roads and our tires and our cars or you know I, as far as i know there's not a vegan car that you can buy so there's going to be things that you just can't control and hopefully by always making sure in and speaking out against these brands and, and choosing the right brands. You know, we're voting with our money and we are paving the way for more and more products in the future to be made vegan. So that's it. That's all the research I did. I know it's a nice long video. I could not believe how many things were hidden, even with non-dairy. Like, come on, it's just crazy. Those poor people with allergies. I can't imagine the mistakes that are made. So anyways, again, if you have anything else to add, definitely let us all know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget to eat your fruit. Peace.